so he embarrassed spongebob and gaslit him for probably like an hour just to impress people who doesn't even know by the way he showed no remorse for any of this to put it bluntly patrick is the type of friend to put you in a headlock when you're around a group of girls so last time we covered mordecai and ruby and all their antics so i think it's finally time to talk about the og snake and cartoons patrick star and, and no not that patrick star this man is so bad that we got top 10s for all the l man stuff he did over the years you know how hard it is to get a watch mojo top 10 this man should be wanted by the government for how many violations he's responsible for in this friendship with spongebob for example look at the episode where patrick's parents come to visit him for context patrick's parents know that this man is dumb as bricks but spongebob being the w man that he is he cheers up patrick and decides that he's going to show his parents what dumb as bricks really is now this plan is really stupid but it's the thought that counts. And I know for a fact that that pink bum would never do something like that. Anyways, Patrick's parents pull up, and according to the plan, SpongeBob just does some stupid things. Cartoon levels are stupid. Y'all know how it is. What's wrong with you, bro? What the heck? You tripping, bro. You tripping. And these two oafs are just eating it up. SpongeBob is putting on a show like the W man that he is. But then, Patrick starts bugging out and he starts roasting bros fit and build. Only somebody with holes drilled in their head would wear that stuff. So Spongebob has to go as far as to bite Patrick's hand just to get him to listen to him because Patrick is just yucking it up with his parents <laughs> at Spongebob's expense. Your friend should not be laughing this much at your own expense. Realizing this, Spongebob essentially tells Patrick this is going too far, but Patrick is so delusional that he actually believes Spongebob is dumb and disregards him. So Spongebob is like, F this and tells Patrick's parents the truth. My name is SpongeBob SquarePants, and I am not a dummy. Three minutes in the kitchen, and our son has taught him to talk and complete. He got my boy stuttering and panicking, trying to show that he's not dumb. Short circuiting. You must have taught him a little too much. <laughs> Scenes like this used to play in my head over and over again as a child. Being fed up with it all, SpongeBob goes insane and runs through a wall. Yes, an entire wall. But I don't really blame him. And guess what? These two aren't even Patrick's parents. So he embarrassed SpongeBob and gaslit him for probably like an hour just to impress people who doesn't even know what? by the way he showed no remorse for any of this to put it bluntly patrick is the type of friend to put you in a headlock when you're around a group of girls i won't lie that's some snake activity then there's the card episode where spongebob wants this really rare card bro spends mad bread on packs just to try and get it but doesn't get it at all and patrick somehow gets the card on his first pack and the first thing he tries to do with this card is pick his teeth with it seeing the stupidity unfold in front of his eyes spongebob tries to explain to patrick why this card is so valuable but um I who the fuck is this <laughs> bro patrick completely disregards everything that spongebob said and begins to do some dumb stuff like walking to mud or ghoul lagoon which puts the card at risk bro is doing this on purpose by the way this man spongebob is going through the mud literally Lord. trying to save this man from destroying this card so he wants to either a have spongebob risk his life trying to stop patrick from destroying the card b want to cause spongebob mental strife over this cards being destroyed or c all of the above and i'm betting it's c and of course spongebob is pushed to the edge again and is breaking down at the end of the episode <sighs> this is infinitely worse than mordecai and rigby because at least their friendship can be mutually toxic at times but this is just terrible even at a basic level patrick snakes spongebob like when spongebob tries to prepare for an oral report for his boating school he tries to make this process as difficult as possible like look at the way he's staring at him now i know it's typical to mess with your friends but this is going too far patrick knows spongebob has anxiety about this stuff but he says shut up and get to running uh I know Spongebob is annoying to Squidward a lot, but I never realized how bad Spongebob has it when it came to Patrick. Anyways, that's all I got for y'all today. Let me know if you want me to keep up with these commentary videos because I like making them, but I'd also like to know your thoughts on them. Also, subscribe if you're new and like the video. Peace out. That's all, folks.